Meet the 60-inch skid steer forestry head from Diamond Moors, ready to take a bite out of your next job. But before you sink the forestry head's teeth in, let's review five operating techniques to help you be as productive as possible. Although you may be an experienced operator, we found it takes one to two hours of hands-on time with the new forestry head to master the nuances and really appreciate what this head can do. It's not a drum-style head, so don't expect to jump in and work it like one. If you do, we promise you'll be disappointed. However, if you follow the techniques outlined over the next few minutes, then take a couple of hours to work through them on your machine, we guarantee you'll be destroying every tree that gets in your path, all with a smile on your face. First, let's go through a few fundamentals. Diamond's disc design creates more power using inertia built up in the dish, allowing you to quickly gather and process trees. As you grind trees, the disc will lose momentum and slow down, and that's okay because the forestry head is designed to do that. It's important to allow the couple of seconds it will take to bring the disc back up to full speed before destroying the next tree. Using the right versus left side of the head. When cutting only, use the left-hand side of the dish to push material away from you and the machine, making it safer for the operator and equipment. Use the right side of the head when mulching trees so that materials will be effectively cut with teeth on the dish as well as the top of the disc. Use the right side of the head when you want to simultaneously cut and mulch material. The perimeter teeth will make the initial cut while the top teeth will gather trees and pull them into the head for an instant mulch. Before you start, you want to ensure you have the right equipment for the job. For this reason, Diamond has provided two different shoots, one designed for hardwood and one for cedar trees. The hardwood chute is equipped with a ramp that helps guide in material already on the ground to the teeth. It also features a hook to position straight-stemmed hardwoods for quicker and more efficient mulching. The cedar tree chute is designed with an open throat to feed larger, brushier trees more efficiently. Diamond's forestry head comes with a deflector shield that adjusts to three different positions. When the shield is down, it's less likely to throw material and easier to control where the exhaust is being distributed. As you raise the shield, the head is able to process material more quickly and thus becomes more productive. The first technique is the cut and feed. This most common technique works best on material two to six inches thick. To execute this technique effectively, cut with the right-hand side of the dish so the dish can feed material into the head. Cut the tree at the bottom and scoop the tree up like scooping a load of dirt into a bucket. Allow the tree to fall into the hook located at the top to hold the tree in the right position for processing. Then, angle the tree to be the same angle as the dish to pull the tree in and grind it. The next technique is the bottom grind. This technique works best on trees 6 to 10 inches thick, when trees are too large to use in the cut and feed technique. First, top the tree by reaching as high as comfortably possible using the left-hand side of the dish and pushing the top of the tree away from the cutter head to grind it later. Allow enough recovery time to rebuild momentum before grinding the tree. To grind the tree, angle the head back to a 45 degree angle and then drop the head as fast as possible, keeping the tree on the left side of the dish to throw material away from the machine. The most efficient cut is on the outer teeth because they're moving faster. Position the tree under the outside teeth on the left hand side to get the most effective cut and throw exhaust away from you and your machine. Next we have the ground pull technique. This technique allows you to pull in and grind any debris laying on the ground. Using the right side and bottom of the dish, lift the head slightly to suck branches or treetops underneath the dish to grind it. Use the bottom of the dish to reprocess material on the ground for a finer finish. The next technique is to cut without grind. Set your dish level and use the left hand side to cut and push the tree away from the skid steer to act like a saw to cut the tree without grinding it. For very large trees, you'll need to notch it, similar to using a chainsaw, and then come to the other side to cut and drop the tree. Use your push bar to direct the falling tree away from the machine. Note, using the front center portion of the disc is not recommended as it's much harder to control the direction the tree will fall. The final technique is the stump cut. Many users want to cut stumps at or below ground level. To do this, first drive over the stump to flatten it to the ground. Wait to rebuild speed before proceeding with the stump cut. Then lift up and point the nose down to the ground to allow the head to use the bottom teeth for grinding. Just remember, the more you use the stump cut application, the more wear your teeth will incur. After mulching your tree for the first time, there will likely be branches and large debris laying around the work site. If you or your customer would like a more groomed look, you could reprocess this debris by raising your lift arms about six inches and dropping the front of the head toward the ground for the leading edge to skim the ground. Then back over the remaining debris for a finished look. For more tips and techniques, visit us online at diamondmowers.com.